What's going on, y'all? It's Daz, and I'm ready to open up another big fat can of whoop ass right here in Game of Thrones. We're about to get started with episode number three. Last time we left off, the foresters were gaining their allies in order to fight the war and protect their house. Let's continue. Previously on Game of Thrones. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men within your walls. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. I suppose the Crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance, and it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Father. I'm going to kill you. Is that so? I'm glad I found you, my boy. It's been far too long. Who the fuck is he? My uncle. Roderick? Roderick, by oh, the gods, it is you. Sir? Fetch the maester, hurry! Fetch the maester! <laughs> Fuck you! You kill me, and the Lost Legion won't stop until you and your friend are dead. She's been gone a while. She'll come back. If they catch her, they'll kill her. They won't catch her. She's costing us time. It's just that we need to get to Marine. Every day we lose here is a day that Talia or Ryan could be hurt or, or, or worse. You must return home safely, Asher, and... Well, you... You have a history of putting your faith in women who may not deserve it. Easy there, uncle. Now there she goes. She's my friend, uncle. She's been at my side for a long time. Was it them? The Lost Legion? Aye. Too many for us to take. I counted about two dozen, maybe more, as well as horses. About half a mile down the canyon. And coming fast. Had to run my ass off to avoid getting caught. <laughs> it's nearly empty. You two care if I finish it off? It might be a while before we find more water. <sighs> Dying, though. Nah. Drink up. Thanks. She did just run her ass off. Right. We need to get moving. We should be fine. She did her little scouting work. She deserves a little aqua. The Lost Legion. We're a hundred miles from Yunkai. When are they going to give up? Never. They're still raw about Tazal. Yes, well, perhaps you shouldn't have snapped his neck. Fuck his neck. There is such a thing as overdoing. Not that I care about Tazal. He was gutter trash, and I bloody felt like it. That neck was begging to get stopped. You've grown older, but you haven't grown up. It's only a matter of time before they overtake us. Ah, bugger a harpy. What? Can we double back? Not without meeting our mates from Yunkai. We need a cardboard box. They'll pass us right by. We're well and truly fucked this time, Asha. During severe winters, when the Skahazadan floods, it carves out great underground rivers in the sandstone. And? And when those waters recede, those rivers become caves. And those caves might hide us, if we can find them. 
I mean, we're trapped for the moment, but all I'm saying is we, we needn't die here. Just standing our ground. Thank you, Malcolm. That's valuable advice. Of course. If he's right about this, I may actually stab him. Let's talk to Malcolm. It looks like he had some kind of idea. You found anything? Not yet. What's on your mind? How do you know all that? About the floods and the caves? I read all about Essos on the voyage over. Histories of Marine, histories of Slaver's Bay. I just hope it pays off. We all need to pull together if we're going to get out of this and onto Marine. I can't have you and Beska scrapping. So much riding on this. Talia, Ryan, your mother. You and I are supposed to return to Westeros with a cell sword army, and I have the faintest idea how we're going to pull it off. So, if I seem a bit moody, that's why. You better man up, Malcolm. You see? Beska came back. She risked her life out there, for us. You trust her now? This may sound harsh, but Beska's immaterial. I have to put you first. You are all that matters to me, Asher. Beska matters to me. Let me know if you find anything. It's kind of cold-blooded, Melk. All right, so can we climb up these rocks right here? Do you think we could dig our way through? Or try to scramble over? I don't know. Either will be slow and tricky. One wrong move and the whole thing could collapse on us. It's not gonna happen. It's too unstable. Hey, Beska. I meant to say, thank you. I realize this isn't your fight. Our Marine is the last place you'd want to go. God, Sasha, don't go soft on me. Together till we're dead. I appreciate that loyalty, Bess. Look, Malcolm's all right, I promise. He practically raised me. You know my father and I didn't get along. Well, he's an odd one. And he doesn't appear to like me much. He has a lot of things on his mind. The right things, I hope. You know anything else about these bastards haunting us? Well, obviously they hate you. Thanks. I figured that out on my own. You've heard the rumor, right? They carve their faces up as an initiation. Flay the skin right off. Looks like they're inside out. That's why they wear those helmets. So they're ugly as fuck, huh? <laughs> no. That's a load of horse shit. Beska, if you see anything... Alright, so we got a little bit of intel on the suckers that are chasing us. What do you think? Could we climb out of here? Pretty steep, Asher. And we'd be totally exposed if your friends arrived before we reached the top. Put arrows in our booty. Don't want that to happen. There was something over here, right? He was looking at something. Let's see what's going on with this raggedy ass corpse. Well, we can't. Looks like we're not alone. No obvious wounds. Maybe he died of thirst. Listen. That's water. I hear water. From underground. There might be a cave nearby. Look at this. Gold. Fat lot of good it did him. You know I'm gonna take that. He's not gonna need that. Asher. The Lost Legion will be here at any moment. This is Essos. There's always time for gold. I was just about to say that. Oh, just shit. chicken eye on the road. It's them. Fuck! How'd he get up there? Shit! Come on! 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 Come on!
good thing they can't aim to save their whack ass life. We cannot afford to get caught in here. Right behind us. You getting jugged up, you little bitch. Sit down. Sasha! Find us another way out of here. Got it! What in seven hells is that smell? I can't even guess what this used to be. What the hell is that? Like a dog or some shit? How the there's hell a light. get out of here? Go! See if there's a way through. We'll hold them off! Alright. What the fuck is that? You gotta be fucking kidding me. It, is that a motherfucking dragon? Esther, I'll go. Oh, hell no. Easy there. Easy there, Scaly. Don't you be a bitch. You want some, don't you? Go get your ass whooped. I got your tooth, bitch. Easy. And I'm about to whoop that ass. Get some! Shit, I'm about to whoop a dragon ass! God, don't, don't set me on fire, please. Oh. Oh, God! He tried to cook me! He said, fuck my sword, and then he tried to cook me! Get the fucking lost legion! We've got a bigger problem! They are fucking pulling up! Guys, we got a problem. He tried to spear that dude. They got so fucking badly. Got some barbecue suckers. Oh, you missed, bitch. Uh oh, hatchet of justice time, baby. Uh, lay down, ho. Oh damn. Do we help our girl or do we help our family? I mean, the motherfuckers got two on one with two enemies. But we also got this girl getting attacked by a dragon. Gotta help her. We gotta do something against this punk ass dragon. Hey! Hey! Over here! Get away from her! Hey! Hey! Fighting a dragon! You got it, Malk. You got it, Malk. <laughs> he fucking speared the dragon. They got cooked. Damn, Malk. Did Malk get cooked too? Asha, we have to move now. Uh, Malcolm, uh, can you walk? I, I, I'm fine. I fought wars with worse than this. Hurry, the beast is coming around. We got to get up and go. I'm sorry, Malk. Hopefully we can get you out alive. God damn, he got barbecue. Asha! Grab my hat! I got you, Malk. Come on. It's nearly on you. God damn! Yeah, you better run, you little bitch. You better run. Oh damn, he's not running! Looks like we're gonna be taking over as our boy Garrett. He's fighting, but he's not fighting any damn dragons. Listen up, you sorry lot. Gather round. We're handing out assignments today. Garrett. <laughs> we'll be men of the watch before nightfall. Right. Sorry. No hard feelings over that business with Finn, yeah? 
appreciate you not ratting me out over the knife. It's nice to know there's at least one brother I can trust. Finn might have killed me otherwise. A favor like that comes with a cost. Of course. Just don't go asking for my rations. Food is not negotiable. Well, aren't you two sons of whores looking thick as thieves? I'll kick you in the nuts. Having a good laugh over nicking my knife, eh, Garrett? Men like you turn traitor for nothing. It's in your blood. <laughs> Next, you'll be killing men of the watch for a loaf of bread. Finn, stop being such a bloody fool. When a man takes my gear, it'll be my fist that'll rip their heart from their gullets. You'll always be an asshole, Garrett. Your mother. You're just a fucking craven. I will never call you my brother, Finn. I wouldn't fucking want you to. Finn, leave him alone. It wasn't Garrett's fault. If you're gonna hate someone, hate me. With pleasure. Now, it doesn't matter what the world once called you. After today, you're all brothers. Could even be that the man standing next to you saves your life one day. Or maybe you'll save his. Don't count on it. Let's find out then, shall we? Casper to the builders. Finn to the rangers. Lobor to the stewards. Hugh to the rangers. Cotter to the builders. You know what you need to put me as. Motherfucking ranger, don't play these games. And finally! Garrett to the rangers. That's it. May all the gods preserve you. That's the fuck I thought. Well, there we are. I'll be patching up the wall, and you'll be defending it. Should you northern boys want your gods to give a blessing to this union, there's a weirwood tree beyond the wall. Now form up! Follow my lead. So it's going to be me and this asshole Finn. I can only see trouble coming from that. What the hell was that sound? Garrett, it's good to hear you'll be a ranger. Thank you. I know you wanted this. I'm ready to say my vows. I didn't have many friends when I first arrived at Castle Black. Grin and Pip, they'd as soon have seen me bloodied in the yard than offer a hand. Now, I'd die for either of them. Our brothers are all we have. Guess you want me and this sucker to be brothers, huh? Finn. Shows you what kind of ripe fools are running this place. I can't believe they made you a ranger. It's gonna be a piece of shit the You're entire time, the aren't you? You don't have any balls between your legs. It's not your concern, Finn. That's where you're wrong. I need to know if I'll be fighting alongside a thief. I didn't. Still your knife. <laughs> You wouldn't even be here if you didn't have snow leading you by the hand the whole way. Well, people might help you if you weren't such an asshole, Finn. I wouldn't have to be if you all weren't assholes, too. No one around here gives a shit about me. They wouldn't even care if I... Do you know how many rangers are never heard from again in these parts? And I'm about to become one myself. All alone out here. Wildlings everywhere. Or wolves. Or, God, giant wolves. Don't think I'll be crying over your corpse if something happens. So that's how it's going to be, huh? Have it your way, Garrett. It's a shame you couldn't work things out with him here of all places. They say the old gods watch us through the weirwoods. The gods are not forgiving. We brothers have to be. I ain't trying to be his friend. Fuck him. I'll watch his ass die. I don't give a shit. I'm an asshole. Gotta look out for me, myself, and I. We're here. After this, there's no going back. 
Now go. Take your vows. In the eyes of the old gods, the Night's Watch offers you a place beside us. Now say the words for all to hear and embrace us as your own. Alright. Let's go to say these funky ass vows. What the fuck is... What is that face on that tree? I bet you somebody tried to have sex with it. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's creepy as shit. Hear my, my words, words, and bear witness, witness to my vow. Night, Night gathers, gathers, and now, now my watch, watch begins. begins. It shall not end it shall until, not until end my death. Until my death. I, shall I shall take, take no wife, wife hold no lands, father, father no children. children. I, shall I shall wear no, wear no crowns, and win, and win no, no glory. glory. I shall live and die at my post. I am the sword in the darkness. I am the watcher on the walls. I am the shield that guards the realms of men. I pledge my life and honor to the Night's Watch for this night and all the nights to come. I finally got in sync around the middle of the little pledge. You knelt as boys. Rise now as men of the Night's Watch. Welcome to your new family, Garrett. Yeah, I appreciate it, Jon Snow. I'm probably like the only person that didn't know that dude's name. I just knew him by his face and his hair. Like, I don't watch a TV show or anything else like that. Garrett, you've got a visitor. Over there. Well, who is it? Do I look like your fucking squire? You about to be if you keep lipping off to me. I'm learning about this series through the damn video game, not through anything else. I'm probably like the only person. Don't forget the practice shot. Uncle Duncan. Hey, Duncan. Garrett. It's good to see you. They told me you were at the Weirwood Tree. Wasn't sure you'd be back in time. I'm glad I caught you. What brings you here? A business with the Night's Watch. A delivery of Ironwood shields to keep you all out of harm's way. That settles it then? Aye, the delivery looks in order. Oh, the gods do grant miracles. You look well, nephew. I'm told you're a ranger now. That's good. Uncle? Things aren't going well at Ironrath, Garrett. I know. I heard the news about Ethan. I wasn't there when it happened. Small mercy, I suppose. Not having to see our lord struck down with such barbarity. But House Forrester is nothing if not resilient. Our house has survived for centuries. Turn back countless threats. Let me help, Uncle. I can't just sit here at the wall while our enemies are circling Ironrath. That's why I'm really here. Do you recall Lord Forrester's last words to you? Just before he died, Gregor's final command spoken to you in confidence. He said the North Grove must never be lost. Indeed. But first, it must be found. I've been reading his journals, scouring the legends for any clue what Lord Forrester knew. I think I've found the answer. He describes a fortification, a protected citadel of sorts, hidden from the world, one filled with great power. It was scattered among his notes. Almost an obsession. A vital secret he protected at all costs. Do you think this citadel can help us save House Forrester? Lord Forrester certainly believed so. 
He speaks of it as if he'd seen it himself. Somewhere north of the wall. And you must find it, Garrett. The search won't be easy. But you're a Tuttle. Our Lord knew you wouldn't fail him. As do I. Somewhere north of the wall. That's not a lot to go on, Uncle. How am I supposed to find it? The first chance you get to head north, take it. And then? You leave the Night's Watch behind, and strike out on your own. This is no small request I make. I know that. But there's no other choice. I agree, Uncle. But how? A brave answer, Garrett. This will help guide you. I found it hidden in Lord Forrester's strongbox. What is that? A page from our Lord's journal. But one he tore out and kept separate. Why, I don't know. It's a map. To the North Grove. Aye. Alright, let's see what we're looking at right here. A mammoth? <laughs> this map's only missing grumpkins and snarks. This can't be real, Uncle. Bloody ice dragon. Gods be good. Now that I would love to see. Would you really love to see an ice dragon? This looks familiar. What is it, Garrett? Talia gave me this. Before I left. Oh. Wait. Lord Forrester gave Ethan a similar one as well. Roderick too. I wonder... I used to be frightened of where with trees. Well, before I was a man grown, I swear, I actually could hear them whispering sometimes. You as crazy as dog shit there, Garrett. You said it was a citadel of some kind. Could this be it? No. No, it couldn't be that easy. It's hidden here somewhere. Hear the werewoods whisper. How the hell do we find it? Look, there's a clasp. It must open. Let's open it. Let's see what's going on up in here. I had no idea this was inside. Another werewood. But why? Maybe it's a key to solving the map. Alright, let's see what's going on. Perfect fit. Maybe it's telling us where to look on the map. Fuck it, we'll choose the closest one. That we found it. Oh, it's the whole map that has to turn. Aye. The werewood's mouth, Uncle. Whatever this place is, the North Grove must be near. There's only one way to find out. Here, take this map. Everything we hold dear may well depend on your success. It's a lot to put on your shoulders. The lives of a whole house. You can tell everyone back at Ironrath that Garrett Tuttle has taken up the cause. Your sense of honor is a quality I've long admired, Garrett. Gods watch over you. You're the son I never had. Let's go, Garrett. Don't rush me, bitch. All right, Duncan. You can count on me. I got this. I hope to never lift one of those again. Alright. Gotta go to this boy, Carter. Someone said it was your uncle looking for you. But what did he want? Must have been important to come to Castle Black. 
is Castellan to House Forester. They sell ironwood to the builders. It looked like it gave you something. It, it was nothing. Let's go and celebrate. You asking too many questions. The wall's gonna melt before we get up there. Come on. There are so many guests already arriving. And have you seen the wedding decorations they put up in the gardens? So beautiful. That's right, this little girl murked somebody. You know, we're as lucky as she is. Marjorie was but a lady when we were sent to serve at High Garden. But in just a few days' time, we'll be attending to a queen at a royal feast. Where we're standing, we'll be able to see everyone. And everyone will be able to see us. Sarah, it will be Marjorie's day, not ours. So don't get us in trouble. I... I know. I... I didn't mean anything by it. I've been meaning to say... what I told you about my... family. It means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Someone I can trust. If handmaidens don't help each other in King's Landing, nobody will. Thank you, Mira. And you know I'll always help you too. Hold on, look. There he is. Lord Morgren? No, no, next to him. Lord Tarwick. I don't want to be a handmaiden forever. And this wedding may be the best chance of meeting a husband I'll ever have. I have to go talk to him. Marjorie won't notice her for a few minutes longer. Could you... Make an excuse for me? Please. I'm not asking for much. Go on then, it'll be fine. The wedding's still days away. Thank you, Mira. I knew I could count on you. I'll tell her that you were over there being a hoe. Go and clap your cheeks for his. Uh oh. Sneaky little dude, huh? Alright. Gotta be quick at this meeting. What are you doing here? I know I shouldn't be here. But we have to talk. I didn't know when I would see you next. Are you alright? I'm fine. Thank you. I just needed to warn you. I was down in Flea Bottom last night when I overheard a couple of Lannister guards talking about... Shh! They already know he's missing, probably dead. They're questioning people, searching for his body. It's not safe for either of us. They don't have any proof he's dead, do they? They found blood on the garden stones by the fountain. But they can't know it's his. No one will know what you did. What? What is it? That dagger. If we're going to survive this, there can't be any details we've overlooked. I, I still have his knife. Oh, oh, no. Just keep it hidden and clean the blood off it. Meantime, just stay out of sight. How? Do you forget who I serve? Just don't get in any more trouble. And I'll, I'll watch your back. We're in this together now. You saved my life. I don't even know your name. It's... It's Tom. Thank you, Tom. Don't thank me yet, Lady Mira. There's still a knife out there covered with a dead man's blood. And I don't... Mira! My lady. Really? A tryst in the bushes with that coal boy? Not to say it's wrong, but... With all the lords and knights in King's Landing, you just don't want to spoil your chances of a good marriage. Can we just keep it between us? I'd prefer nobody knows. Of course. That's what friends do. Come on. 
Marjorie expects us at the throne room. We don't want to be late. You can tell me all about this Lord Tarwick on the way. Well, first of all, his name's Garibald, and he has this really funny accent. He told me the cleverest story about this festival they have where they celebrate... And I've given the musicians a list of songs to play for Joffrey at the feast. I assume you have no problems with the reigns of Castamere? I trust you've chosen all the standards. But just to be sure, I'll draw up a list of wedding ballads we favor in Highgarden. Your Grace. My lady. Which reminds me, Joffrey will require his king's guard close at hand during the feast. I'm afraid we'll have no room for your handmaidens. You a piece of shit, <gasps> but Cersei. We... What was that? Do you object? Is that what I heard? I, uh... If you're going your to Grace. speak out of turn, girl... I... You should finish what you start. We do as you command, Your Grace. And we'll spend the feast wherever it pleases you. You'll spend it mopping the stables, if I please. I'll spend the kicking you in the cut. I asked your handmaiden here at the Iron Throne, whom she would serve if forced to choose between yourself and the king. She was deferential to the crown then, as she is now. But words are wind. In any case, it's settled. The king's guard will stay with Joffrey. Your handmaidens will sit elsewhere. Of course, Your Grace. Anything for my beloved Joffrey. Lady Marjorie, we may not see eye to eye on everything, but I hope you will at least agree with me that our handmaiden should know their place. And that place is not with my brother, Tyrion. A. What did she mean by that? You and Tyrion. What you do reflects on me. If something's going on, I need to know about it. Tyrion... He offered to help my family. He did? Then surely he expects something in return. Sarah, what do you know of this? Tyrion approached us, my lady. It was his idea, not Mira's. I appreciate that, Sarah. I don't care what your intentions were, Mira. You went to a Lannister behind my back. Uh-oh. I've only ever tried to help you. Easy, Marjorie. Why are you making trouble for me? I'm not. Please, Lady Marjorie, trust me. I know what I'm doing. I've learned from the best. I don't have the time or patience for your games, Mira. Right now, I need you both to be my handmaidens, and that's all I need you to be. We gotta try not to piss off the new queen. Let there be no mistake. If I hear of you speaking so much as a word to Tyrion Lannister again, you can go home to your family. Ah, oh, damn. I'm sorry, my lady. I made a mistake. It won't happen again. Please don't send me home. This can't happen again. Control the Lord Forrester. Roderick, it's the White Hills. They're assembling in the courtyard. They're assembling to get their ass beat? They've woken the house. You can't let this go on. They want to see us cower in our own house. I'll need my sentinel. Go ahead, Talia, and have Royland meet me in the courtyard. Maybe that was the question I should have asked. It doesn't matter what, what is they're this? doing. It's a parade of dead men if I have my way. I like the sound of that. You a piece of shit. <laughs> this 
sons now. Get out of my sight. <laughs> I didn't ask for you to giggle, bitch. Those are strong words. For a cripple who can't carry a sword? Who the fuck are you? All of you, show your respect to Griff Whitehill. Fourth born son of Lord Ludd Whitehill and commander of this garrison. I'll big boot that nigga. Cocky Roderick, we used to call you. Swinging your prick round, lording it over my family. Now look at you. Hey? Roderick the Ruined. I hardly recognize you. But the name fits, don't it? <laughs> Pathetic. I've had enough of this, Griff. What are you trying to prove here? I had to get your attention, didn't I? Always so busy beating your own chest, Roderick. I don't think he gets it. No, my lord. I don't think he does. Your brother Ethan didn't get it either. You bite your tongue. I am in charge now. And the first thing you need to know is that if I am not happy, no one is happy. So my men are taking over your great hall. That's where we'll quarter from now on. No, you ain't. What? You can't. You'll have to go through me. I won't have my men sleeping out in your barn in shit and filth. Maybe that's how foresters live, but not us. I don't care if you're happy or not. You'll quarter where I tell you. I wasn't fucking asking, Roderick. And what's more, you will treat my men right. I've Fuck heard what men. you've done. And if they're eating wormy bread, then your people better be eating shit off the ground. I'm not here to keep them in line. I'm here to keep you in line. You think you're being clever? Your men aren't fucking guests. I'll get what I give them and be thankful for it. Watch yourself, Roderick. The fuck you going This to? is against the King's law. You've no right to make such demands. I have every right. We're here under the orders of Roos Bolton, Warden of the North. Fuck him and fuck so you. So I will be in your halls. I will be in your courtyard. I will sit on your fucking council and be in your bedchambers if I bloody well please. You can't do this, little bastard. You can't just do whatever... We'll do what we were sent here to do. You're mad, Griff. This is my house and you will do as I say. Why should I listen to some cripple with half a face? Because this cripple whooped that no. ass. Me and my men will take our place in your hall. Unless you think you and your army can stop me. Where's that prompt to headbutt his bitch no. ass? You know better than that. Oh, you you know where up. we'll be. This is outrageous. Roderick, you can't let them do this. You can't go in there. We can and we will. Unless you want this all to end right now, eh? I'm the only lord here. Come on. Damn it. I'm a naturally defiant motherfucker, so you know I was gonna go down with that, but this dude... Parading in here like a conquering fucking hero. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof, soiling our house. I know you tried to stop them, my lord. But we can only take this occupation for so long. Our people will break. And the way Griff Whitehill came in, that's clearly what he wants. Whether he rides out on horseback, or ends up in the ground, Griff Whitehill won't be here long. I'll see to it. Very good, my lord. But Griff Whitehill isn't the beginning of our troubles, or the end of them. We need to look at all the pieces. Whitehill men aren't just in our house. They've raided our lands, burnt farms, and cut down our trees. All the way from here to High Point. How do we kill a snake, then? By smashing its head. Griff is in the head. It's his father. Perhaps. But Griff is here. We have access to him. And they have Ryan. He carved these soldiers himself. 
I don't care what Gwyn Whitehill may have told you at the funeral. Who knows what horrors they're putting him through, held prisoner at High Point. You can't forsake his safety. But we have to do something. My lord, at least give us a target to aim for. Alright, so what's the plan here? Let's see what options are. We have to save Ryan or expel Griff. Huh. I feel like expelling Griff before we save Ryan might put him in danger. But how are we going to save him, leave Ironrath, and then come back and have him in control? We won't have a base of operations. So I'm feeling like we should expel this punk ass sucker first. We have to push Griff and his soldiers out of Ironrath. They're the most immediate threat. But Roderick, what of Ryan? If you move against Griff, who knows what those wretches will do to my son? Knowing the White Hills, they'd gut him and leave him at our gates. Forgive me, my lady. If we do nothing, we are dead on our feet. Our enemies are not just at our gates. They are within them. We must secure Ironrath. So we have a home to bring Ryan back to. Don't forget him. I won't. Then I'll get him back. It's decided. We take back our home. We lost most of our men with Gregor at the Twins. We can probably gather another 30 or 40 men. But the Whitals are already fortified inside Ironrath. Thankfully, Roderick secured an alliance with the Glenmores. But those forces mean nothing until after the marriage. That means we have to count on Asher and Mira. How? Asher means to sail home from Essos with a company of hardened sellswords. But they're not bannermen. We'll need to pay them for it. Which is why Mira's part to play is just as crucial. She can get us the coin we need in King's Landing. You don't imagine we have the luxury of waiting for them. Asher and Mira are a long way from here. I have faith in my children. I don't think Lud Whitel will kindly stand by while we pull ourselves together. Our very lives and the future of House Forrester are at stake. We have to let them try. It's the only way. Then we hold fast. The White Hills aren't ready for war. It won't be long before you're able to take action yourself. Well, one way or another, there's a fight brewing. So I have much to prepare. And men to train. My lord? Get him sorted, Roylan. That's my sentinel. I'm gonna get your boy back, mama. And then I'm gonna whoop some ass. My lord, there may be something we can do now. A voice from High Point, Gwyn Whitehill. I spoke with her at the funeral. As did I. And she's willing to meet. Away from her father's guards. I may not be your sentinel. But please consider this. It would be wise to hear what she has to say. Do you think she can be trusted? It's possible she has other motives, but it's a chance to learn more about our enemies. We need to take it, and I'll make sure no one else knows. For now, at least. Good. Handle things right with Gwyn, and she may even help us in High Point. When the time comes. I want the dove pie served with dove a spoon pie. of lemon cream. We'll have to let the kitchens know. And these flowers. They're just all wrong in the crown lands. That's my boy. Mira, are you listening to me? Of course I am. Lady Marjorie. Oh god, Good here he comes. To you today. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. And you, Lady Mira. A word in private, if I may. Um, I'm so sorry, Marjorie. I'll return her shortly. I'm so sorry, Marjorie. Who would I be to deny Lord Tyrion? Very soon you'll be the queen, and if you're anything like the current one, you'll deny me all you like. Mira, please excuse me for a moment, my lady. I promise I won't keep you long. I don't think Lady Marjorie likes me. Although after tonight, I suspect I won't be her least favorite Lannister anymore. What did you want, my lord? Oh, there's much unpleasant business to be done today. 
But I bring you a bit of good news. I've arranged for the Crown to purchase Forrester Iron. That's my boy! A royal decree sits on my desk now. Now I'll have my squire Podrick see to it at the first opportunity. Podrick? You'll bring prosperity to your family. They're lucky to have you. You honor me, Lord Tyrion. Only you could make such a strong gesture to House Forrester. My lord, do I still owe you a favor? As handmaiden to the new queen, you will undoubtedly prove useful. Not if I keep talking to you, I'm little sure ass. I'll think of something. You gonna get me in trouble. Enjoy the festivities. I appreciate that. Goodbye, help. Lord Tyrion. Little motherfucker. Today of all days. You know I didn't want you talking I to him. I can't deny Lord Tyrion. You're playing a dangerous game, Mira. Sarah will help me with my gown and hair. But... I'll deal with you after the wedding. Don't be like that, Marjorie. Come with me, Sarah. Sarah, you know you gotta put in a good word for me, girl. Don't let me go out like that. You gotta calm her down. She's a little pissed off. That's alright, though. Play with the titties a little bit. Garrett, easy now. Sorry, I was just keeping at the ready. That's good. Don't lose that. I understand your uncle paid you a visit. What did he want? Not many people pass through here. What brought him this far? He was just delivering ironwood shields for the Night's Watch. Good. Our stocks are running low. I know it couldn't be easy seeing him. But you have to leave all that behind. Especially now that you're a ranger. Aye. I know you had told me you could stand with these men, but not every brother's a friend. If it came to it, and you were in trouble north of the wall, any of them you'd trust by your side. You know these men. Who do you want watching your back? Well, I know I can count on you, John. I'm flattered. But our paths may not always cross. You'll need allies beside you. Errolt Holt of White Harbor, Corlys Wells from Stony Sept. And finally, we've got more spawn of nobility joining us. No. Britt Warwick of House Whitehill. You gotta be kidding me. House Whitehill. Make sure you're not bringing any this one's the Boltons. Be a hot this dude. The mess hall. After that, oh, he ain't gonna live very long. I'm gonna get him. Gary. Gary, what's the matter? You know him. Not for very long. Come on, get moving. Gary, who is he? Oh, I know him. And that man deserves to die. Careful. He'll soon be a man of the watch. Snow! See these new recruits to the Maester. Don't do something you'll regret. You know Jon Snow, that I'm a if fucking it isn't mother. the fucking pig bomber. Dog, he's pushing his luck immediately. I'm here because of you. Got sent to the wall for that little party I do with your family. Don't think it's over. No, it's not over. Best watch your back. What are you waiting for, recruit? Personal invitation from the king? Talk all you like. You'll be dead before you take the black. Careful now. Didn't end so well for you last time. That's enough. Both of you. I said move. I'll be seeing your farm boy. No, you're gonna be seeing my fucking sword up your ass. That's what you're gonna be seeing. This isn't fair. We were supposed to be up there. I'll never see another wedding like this. I don't know what you did with Tyrion Lannister that made Cersei want to punish you, but it never should have affected me like this. I'm so sorry. I had no idea any of this would happen. But what Tyrion Lannister did for me, it may have saved my family. I hope that's true, Mira. I really do, because you don't know how furious Marjorie is at you. When I was getting her dressed for the wedding, she was 
talking about who she could replace you with. Damn! I probably shouldn't have even told you. But I suppose you have a right to know. I can handle this. She's only thinking about it, right? There's still time. Look. You once promised to help me with Marjorie when our positions were reversed. That meant everything to me. Maybe now I'm in a position to help you. Please? Otherwise, Marjorie's going to make you leave King's Landing. You're pushing her to it, Mira. And I can't let you. Thank you, Sarah. I could really use a hand right now. I don't want to do this all alone. Don't worry. We'll figure this out. I'll beg Marjorie if I have to. Scissor sisters for life. I'm not letting her send you home. That's what I'm talking about. Look, the pie. Oh no, they're already serving the pie. Oi. We're missing everything. Oi, fuckface. I know you. You were in the gardens the other night with Damien. Uh oh. I don't know what you're talking about, Before buddy. Before he disappeared. I don't know who that is. I have a few questions to ask. Don't ask me nothing. Leave me alone. What were you doing there with him? Mira? Don't think I don't know it was you. I don't forget a face. Excuse me, I don't have time to bother with your questions. No. Uh. Seven hells. <sighs> you there, girl. I need a towel or a wet cloth, something. Lord Morgren. You'll need to find someone else. I'm not finished Are with you her. you sick, man? You think I have time to bother with handmaidens? Release her or I'll have Queen Cersei find you another job. This is, uh, this is not too great. Last time somebody saved me from a guard, he tried to stab me. Well, I just ruined a perfectly good shirt to come to your rescue. No need to explain what that was all about. We all have our own mischief to hide. Why would you want to help me? Well, I didn't do it merely for your benefit. See, this sucker then wants something. why? Perhaps I recognize a kindred spirit. Don't bullshit me. It's not every little handmaiden who can steal an ironwood decree with the crown right out from under my nose. Consider me impressed. My partners, I am afraid to say, felt rather differently about it. So what does that make you, if a little handmaiden could steal your very important deal? Aren't you the tart one? I'm a man who knows when to recognize a fixed game. The question is, can you? Do you even understand why Tyrion gave you the Ironwood deal? Because it wasn't out of the kindness of his heart. I'm no fool. He wants something from me. Access to Marjorie. Or, perhaps he just knew he could get the cheapest Ironwood from me. Very observant. You are no mere handmaiden. I remember what it was like to be new to this game. You feel like you're drowning, don't you? Like there's no one you can really trust. What you need more than anything is an ally. I hope you're not gonna ask I could me to be trust that you. for you, Lady Mira. Is that something you'd be interested in? You got your damn mind. An alliance can mean many things, my lord. I would be a fool to say yes without knowing what I was saying yes to. Wisely put. So, let me be blunt. Circumstances have put us at odds. But what if we were to work together? Control the price of Ironwood together? We could get very, very rich together. Or should I go back to Lord Whitehill? Who has proven to be very interested in it? What the hell is going on here? What the fuck is going on? Tyrion, what did you do? What happened? Joffrey's oh, no, no, no. dead! I'm afraid it just became a very bad time to be linked to Tyrion Lannister. Oh shit. Tell me that you got that Ironwood decree from him before the wedding. Oh no. 
He said it was waiting for me on his desk. <sighs> what a shame. Such potential. I'm afraid any chance of our alliance has become quite impossible. You understand, Lady Mira. What do you mean? It's just a business transaction. Between a northern house and the killer of the king, in a deal that defied the queen's orders. A paper like that will land you in the black cells. But if it were to disappear, perhaps we could talk again. You have a good head for business, Lady Mira. It'd be terribly disappointing to see it on the end of a pike. Tyrion, what the fuck did you just do? Gotta be careful of those suckers. Don't point at my booty. Don't do it. Alright, so I guess we're heading to his quarters. Make sure there's nobody up in there first. It's locked. <gasps> Not getting in this way. Oh, you scared the shit out of Tom, me, boy. What in seven hells do you think you're doing up here? What are you thinking? You've got to leave. Now. You don't know how dangerous this is. Tom, I'm in trouble. There's something inside I need to get. If I don't, it's going to be a nightmare. Damn it. Whatever trouble you're in could be trouble for me, too. So what do we do? <sighs> I have an idea. The terrace. The what? I could maybe climb across the roof and drop down onto the outside terrace. It's just... You about to do some Spider-Man shit. I, I don't know, Mayor. Is whatever's in there really worth risking my life for? It's not just kings who die stupidly around here. Tom, I really need your help here. I can't do this alone. Just be careful. Wait here. I'll be at the door before you know it. I'll do what I can, Tom. I got your back. Don't fall. Boy's on a solo infiltration mission. Uh-oh. Just what do you think you're doing here? You shouldn't be anywhere near this place. Don't you know the imp has murdered the king? I... I was just... I just needed to get away. After everything that's happened, it was terrible. I'm sure you did. I'm not going to ask you again. What the Damn. fuck? Oi! Whoever's in there, I command you to open this door at once, in the name of the king! What you looking at, punk? You! Don't move. It'd just be funny if I started moonwalking right there on the spot. Tom, it's me. Hurry. Gods, that was close. I almost didn't make it back down here. Some tiles on the roof came loose. Almost lost my footing. And then the jump to the terrace. Thank you, Tom. I could never have done this without you. I'm looking for a piece of paper. A royal decree. Well, go on. That Lannister guard could be back with help any second. I'll keep watch outside the door. Tom! You can do this. Alright, so Tyrion said the decree was on his desk. He said that it would be on his desk. You want to steal that sack of gold? Mira, we're running out of time. It's the bill. For the wedding. This is more money than I could spend in a lifetime. Oh, nothing. Just a letter from Tywin Lannister. Oh, oh another bloody letter. Tyrion Strongbox. Oh, it must be in here. Mira, I think the Lannister Guard is back. Oh, no, it's the other one. Damn it, hide! I find a way to distract them. Fuck am I gonna hide it? Do I have a cardboard box? <laughs> Fuck it, right here. I'm telling you, I heard someone in here. Search the place. We'll find them. And after. Now that we've got the imp's keys, we can have a little look inside his lock boxes, eh? <laughs> Aye. Oh shit. So those are the keys that I need. 
Don't you look this way. Don't you look this way. You're dumb. You're not smart. You don't see nothing. You're an Help. idiot. Fire. Tom, you so fucking clutch. No, damn it. Come on. Tom, you so fucking clutch. Let's get those keys and get the hell up out of here. You did it! How? I lit a tapestry on fire, down the hall. I bought you a minute, maybe two. Oh, thank you. Did you find it? Oh, I think... I think it has to be in here. Oh, it has to be. <gasps> it worked! Is this? Oh, thank the gods! Oh, I found it! Finally! Let's go! Catch the bastard who I'll wring their bloody neck. We're not far now. All right, so we got that decree as mirror. Gwyn Whitehill may already be there. Let's see what's going on over here with this meeting. With this chick. What is this? Our ironwood trees. It's the White Hills. You see what they've done? This track was hundreds of years old. And they reduced it to nothing. Before this is done, we'll make them pay. Every last one of them. I'm gonna kill all those motherfuckers. I, the White Hills, need to answer for this. And they will answer to my blade. I guarantee that. And Gwyn needs to answer for this. But we need to find out what she knows. She'll be over there. Be cautious, my lord. Think we can take her prisoner? If she go around her father to help us, she must have some purpose. I'll hear what she has to say, but I won't forget who she is. Good. Yeah, I don't trust that bitch anyway. You see what her family's done here? She might catch a quick rock bottom. Here. He might want this. <laughs> he wants me to stab that bitch. We have known each other since you were children, but this could be a trap. Fuck, I'll take it. Doesn't hurt to be careful. I'll dice her Go on. quick. I'll stay with the horses. That's a bad decision for me to take that damn dagger, because I will stab that bitch with the quickness. This is old Red Rob's farm. I used to play here when I was young. What's happened to them? It's not enough to take our wood. They must defile our homes. He's gonna drop a fucking tree on our house, you piece of shit. Jazz bird. Ooh, let me see if I can get this axe. I see you haven't lost your warrior's ways. That's good. I wouldn't want to deal with someone careless. Hello, Gwyn. Roderick. You saw my father's work over there, didn't you? There's no way to miss it. And he won't stop. He means to do that to every inch of your land. Damn your father. He's laid waste to this land. My land. I'll have my vengeance for this. I brought you here so that you would you see what's happening. So there's no need to make threats against my father. I come as a friend. Do you? Yes, I do. <sighs> I wasn't sure you were even going to show. We're taking a risk, meeting like this. Unfortunately, it's the way it has to be. Did you bring anyone with you? Of course not. So we're alone. No one even knows I'm here. I think we can help each other. But first, I... I've heard news of Asher. That he plans to return to Ironrath. Why is he coming back? I loved him once. I longed for Asher to come back. But not like this. How do you know about my brother? That's... 
part of why I'm here. But I need to know you've come for the same reasons I have. I want peace between our families. No more wars. No more bloodshed. Is that what you want to? I'm gonna get my revenge. I need to hear you say it, Roderick. Will you work with me to bring an end to this war? If you think we'll cower, you're dead wrong. You don't understand. Peace is the only hope your family has. Nah, we going to war. I'm gonna fuck some people up. My father is just waiting for an excuse to attack. Why do you think he sent my brother? So there will be trouble. My father will bring utter ruin on your house. Unless I'm gonna ruin his ass. He let Griff feel like he's in control. I know you refuse to kiss my father's ring, but you would be wise to show more respect to Griff. That's not gonna I won't bend the knee or bite my tongue, not in my own house. Don't be a fool. There is so much more at stake here than just your pride. My lord, a band of riders approach from the north. Seven hills. My father's guards must be tracking me. If they catch us here, they'll kill you. Then we've no time to waste. Let's get on with it. My father is planning to make a move against your family. See, he's gonna die. I don't know all the details, but he's been sending a great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing. I fear for your family, Roderick. You may think you've nothing more to lose. He is ready to show you otherwise. What the hell is your father planning? I swear I don't know, but whatever it is, he knows all your weaknesses, all your plans. What? How? Because you have a traitor in your council. He's Someone who knows every detail of your circumstances. My father boasts of it, and I've heard some of the reports. If someone's betrayed me, I'll find them and cut their throat myself. Deliver justice to your people however you like. You'll have to find them first. And I don't know who it is. We know you're planning to force Griff from your home. Even if it endangers Ryan's life. What the fuck? What? My father's guards are close. I need to know you'll do what I've asked. Promise me you'll submit to Griff. If you want peace between our families, it's the only way. Who the fuck is- There's no way I can make that promise. I could have helped you, but now... I won't be coming here again. There's been enough killing. I hope you do your part. My lord, those riders are nearly upon us. We have to go. What I told you. Be careful what you do with it. And remember, I'll hear about it if you don't. My lord? Who's the traitor? Is it this dude? Come along, Duncan. Or is it my sentinel? Or is it the fucking maester? I don't even know who I can trust. Look at our hall, our great hall, destroyed. A hatchet of justice in our damn tarp. Mother. Roderick. Look at what's become of our house. You were nowhere to be found and they just... Oh, they are vile men. Where were you? We need you here. To hold this house together. Mother, I... I went to see Gwyn Whitehill. You did what? You would meet with the girl who once tore this house apart. Oh, I, I see now why you went in secret. Surely you must have known I would have counseled against it. I went only to hear what she had to say. It was my duty. She seems willing to help our family. That all depends on the help she offers. Well, what did she have to say? Lord Whitehill is plotting against us. I don't know his plans. I fear them. And the only way he'll stop is if we submit to Griff's rule of our house. What? Would you really give up control of our house? Griff is already a torment. How much worse could it get? 
These are dire times, but I won't kneel to a whitel in my own house. Then don't kneel. Was this all? Did you learn anything more? You need to tell me. Not gonna lie to my mom. Enough with the mysteries, my son. What I've told you is nothing compared to what else I've learned. There is a traitor in our house, on our council. No. This can't be. And all our plans to save Ryan, to save this house. All gone. Roderick, who could have turned on us? Times have been hard. But I never thought this would happen. Not in our house. I have to say, Duncan worries me the most. Perhaps. He did arrange that meet. But what about Roiland? Roiland? Or Maester Ortengren. If we don't know, then we can't trust anyone. Then again, I don't know why we should believe anything that girl told you. The White Hills would love to sow dissent in our house with lies of traitors. Get in there. Go and get in there. It's time they learn some respect. Get down there. Get off again. Get down there and die like a good little girl. Hey, you said an office. Fucking hell. <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> no, no, he was over there. And Ramsay was yeah, here. I'll play it how I want. You will bend the knee to your liege lord. Never. I don't kneel to bastards. Yes, yes, that's so much more fun. <laughs> now, give me your wood, boy. Shut your mouths and stop this at once. Ooh. Oh, look here. It's the new lord. You're in luck. We're just getting to the best part. <laughs> Little Lord Ethan's final breath. Unless you want to play the Lord of House Forester instead. You can't do this. You can't do this. Get out of our house right now. <laughs> we'll do as we please. Besides, we're not finished. You must stop. Oh, I know you've seen it before. But, um, it gets better every time. Stop this, or you'll suffer the same fate as my brother. <laughs> but we can't stop now. Not before my favourite part. <laughs> oh, please, no! Say hello <laughs> to your father. Oh, no, either. Y'all gonna get fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Is this how you want to spend your last moments of life? That's fine. Down. Keep playing. With you. <laughs> oh, well done, well done. I'd say, I'd say, I'd say he died better than the real Ethan. Oh, better than the real Ethan. What about you, eh? You want to be next? I see you pushing your bitch Men ass Men without lock. honor are lower than dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be happy. To dirty my blade with your blood. You should have seen it. Your brother, he acted like a true lord. Right up to the moment Bolton's bastard put that knife in his neck. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch! Told you to stop. Oh. Oh. All right, who's next? Fucking Goldberg. I'll jackhammer you like Goldberg. Who's next? Let's Make go. Make mother watch. No but now we'll him. really have some fun. Enough. Griff will deal with him. When he's done, he'll own this fucking house. Griff will get his. And you'll regret what you've done here. Take your boy out of here while you still can. Roderick. Roderick. Now is not the time. Yes. Wendell, pack the extra rations. Duff, make sure the quivers are full and the torches are dry. 
Jared. What's happening? We're heading north of the wall to deliver justice to brothers turned traitor. They're hiding in the woods at a place called Craster's Keep. I've been looking for volunteers. The cowards murdered Commander Mormon. We're going to kill every one of them. And we won't all be coming back. I'll volunteer to go. I thank you for that. I need every sword I can get. But Brit's going to. He took his vows in the set. He's a brother now. I know there's bad blood between you two. That could jeopardize the mission. Too many unknowns out there. It's gonna be a little bit of friendly fight, don't worry about it. Each other. I'll go in his place. I'm a better fighter than Brit. You'll want my sword before his. I don't doubt your skill. But I need every sword that's willing to go. Even someone like Brit. If you do come, I need to know there won't be any trouble. Even if he provokes you. Can I count on you? I need your word, Garrett. I'll be taking a chance. The mission can't fail. I'm sorry. I can't promise you that. I don't want to lie to John. I understand. So. I'd say the same if you asked me to swear allegiance to a bloody fray. If you're willing to come, just stay out of each other's way. You know I'm going to kill him, right, John? I'm not going to lie to you. It's a hard I'm going to murk his ass. We leave tomorrow at first light. Now, why don't you go talk to those two? They volunteered as well. Make sure they're ready. Dorf! Where are my arrows? Well, what did Jon Snow say? I don't think he likes us much. Definitely doesn't like you, Finn. Haven't heard him singing your praises, have you? He wants us ready for the march tomorrow. Just give the word. I'm tired of being under Frostfinger's boot all the time. You do know we're heading off to fight a band of murderers, right? That's why you bring a ranger. Point is, he doesn't want any problems with you going to Craster's. Well, there's something you should know, then. <laughs> I, uh, borrowed this from you. <laughs> you piece of what? shit. I just got curious. I wanted to know why your uncle was here. You're about to get a rock bottom. You. Didn't mean no harm, honest. I just wanted a quick look. I wasn't stealing. Always planned on giving it back. Cotter, you're a bloody thief. You had no right. I know, I know. Bad habit. I'm sorry, Gary. I'm just... I noticed this part here. North Grove. That's just some shit story for little kids. A rumor. No, it's not. Of course it is. I had it a witch's den where they turned children into giants. Garrett, you don't actually take it seriously, do you? Nope, it's just a bunch of it's bullshit. It's a fairy tale. For idiots. Everyone knows that. Didn't think you were that gullible. Oh, it's real, Finn. Aye. It says it's somewhere on the other side of the wall. Oh, so you're both assholes and idiots, huh? Have fun chasing your tails. It's good that he doesn't believe it. Good. Didn't need him anyway. What do you mean? Finn doesn't know about the mammoths. Or white walkers. Or how to sneak past a giant. What, and you do? But you know, it's the things you hear about. The rumors is all. I wouldn't know myself. <laughs> how could I? Rumors my ass. You're hiding something, Cotter. I'm not. They're just things I hear around Castle Black's all. People talk, you know. He's hiding something. I can see it in his body language. Not about the North Grove they don't. You do? Probably heard you talking about it. Or, or maybe one of the recruits. I don't know. Well, it doesn't matter. It, it was nothing. Don't make me regret lying about the knife for you, Cotter. Tell me what you know. All right. All right. I've been on the other side of the wall, Garrett. You see, I, I live there, in the north. I'm part of the free folk. 
people round here call wildlings. I know, I know, it's crazy. I, I was with some other free folk. We were looking for weapons south of the wall. We got caught, so, so I passed myself off as a local, and well, well, they sentenced me here to Castle Black for stealing. I shouldn't be here. This isn't my place. I didn't know what else to do. Cotter, every blade in Castle Black will slit your throat if they find out. You're their sworn enemy. You don't need to tell me that. Are we... Are we still friends? You I fucking mean, thief. And a I liar. know it's a lot to take in. And I'd understand if you were angry. But you could be useful. Don't worry. Bloodthirsty wildling or not, we're still brothers. That is good to hear. <laughs> At least when Mance Raider wants to boil you alive, you'll know someone in high places. Cutter! What did I say? That shit house you fixed is still leaking! I'll be right there. I'm going back home. No matter what, Garrett. I've heard stories. Old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. You know where the North Grove is? No, but I'll help you find it. I'm deserting anyway, heading back home. I can guide you, keep you alive. Stick with me and I'll show you the way. Plenty of things out there want to kill you. Others want to eat you. I don't understand. Why would you want to help me? The North Grove has nothing to do with you. I've got my own reasons for going. Cut her! Now! Uh, on the way! Please, don't tell anyone about me. The watch would kill me if they found out. Alright, so we might have an ally. I don't trust him 100% because he's a liar and a thief. But he could be useful. Marine still smells like shit, even outside the walls. We'll find Croft here, somewhere. Yeah. You all right? God Never damn. <laughs> Back under the Mad King, they used to say, death by sword was a sweet kiss. But fire would fuck you hard. Funny. No. No, not very. I'll go find Croft's tent. Asher... I need you to tell me the truth. I've come a long way to bring you home. Back in that cave, you made a choice. You must have thought only one of us was going to survive. Now, it's not a fair question to ask, but I need to know. I thought beside you, Uncle, too many times to count, I figured you could handle yourself. Beska was the one face to face with a dragon. I appreciate the respect, but... It's not about that. Look, I can't blame you if your feelings about me are conflicted. Or your feelings about going home. Your family exiled you to this place. But I swore an oath to your mother. Sailed halfway around the world to bring you back safe. And I'd be damned if some dragon fire or your foul decisions are going to stop me. Are we clear? I'm here to help you. To protect you. I'm sorry, Malcolm. I did you wrong. Well, it's good of you to say so. But words are wind, Asher. It's choices that define who you are. Asher, I know where Croft is. This Croft, how well do you know him? Too, Too well. well. I thought you said you were friends. Yeah, we are. We are. Great friends. Asher Damn. fucking Forrester. Son of a poxy whore. You talking you shit about my mom? walking into my tent after all these years with that mama's monkey grin on your face. The fuck? Well, that went well. Great friends indeed. Oh. Oh. That's it. You're losing your edge, Croft. You know you're right. I should kill you. Good fucking advice. 
Whoa, no, no, I wasn't <laughs> actually suggesting. Easy there. You never understood consequences, Asher. One stupid mistake cost me an eye. But you never learned. You figured you'd steal from me and I'd just forgive you. <laughs> hey, hey, easy. A fucking chance. So how are you going to pay me back? Your eye? Your hand? Or how about your tongue? How would you go fuck yourself? Croft, no! Be reasonable! I am reasonable! I'm letting him fucking choose! Get the fuck off me, Croft! I'm not playing your games! This is no fucking game, Asher. Croft, I deserve your anger as much as Asher. Don't worry, Beska. You're next. Now choose, or I slice off your balls, Asher! Hey, a hey, man hey! betrays my trust. There's a price Stop to this. Let him go! Enough! No more fucking about! Fuck you, Croft! Have it your way. You didn't need your testicles anyway. You piece of shit! <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> oh, that was bloody beautiful. Fucking Asher. You were pale as a oh. snow bear's oh. <laughs> are you? Are you fucking joking? You bloody bastard. <laughs> this is why people steal your shit and take off in the night. Come on, you assholes. Have a drink. <laughs> Joden, the Khaleesi's best wine. Your friend has an interesting sense of humor. He has his so damn mind. seven hells are you two doing here on the arse end of the earth, eh? You're a long way from young guy. We have a proposition for you. We? You're hardly the usual rabble these two travel with. He's Asher's family. That I would not have guessed. We need an army, Croft. My home back in Westeros is under siege. We need your hellhounds. A hundred good men. Am I in a hobby's tip? Would I ever go back to Westeros? I've got it good right here. Her grace pays good coin. I've got wine! Women! I've got my own tent! And it never fucking snows. We can pay. I always knew your pockets were lines of gold. And I will happily take it from you. But it's not up to me. The second sons are sworn to Daenerys Targaryen. I've laid my sword at her feet. For now. Perhaps we could talk to her. She's a little busy right now, commanding a fucking siege. Her enemies are nailing children up on posts for a hundred miles. And a bloody dragon's gone missing. <laughs> but I know where to find her dragon. Ha! <laughs> Unfucking likely. You expect me to believe you just happen to have seen the one fucking dragon loose in the world? Impossible. Orange eyes, as big as my head. Scales all black. That doesn't prove anything. Enough of this nonsense. We're done here, Asher. You two back in my life. Spinning your tails again. This is all I need. Go on, then. Show me your fucking proof. And piss stains down your pants isn't gonna cut it. The last thing I'm about to do is bring her this stinking bastard. I can smell you from outside the tent. Fuck you. You crawl out of the desert and expect me to believe you've seen a dragon. I've got proof, you old fuck. Tell me what this is, if not a bloody dragon tooth. Uh, I wouldn't know a dragon tooth from a basilisk dick. Croft. I've seen her dragon. <sighs> oh, bugger me with a bloody spear. If you're lying about this, it'll cost more than your balls. Fair enough. Come on, you son of a bitch. The beast's name is Drogon. She'll want to hear about him right away. And don't think you're going to charm her with that fucking Asher grin. I'll charm her with the dang -a of justice. Garrett. You must be pissing yourself thinking about what we'll find out there tomorrow. Assuming you're 
Not too busy looking for your North Grove. I thought you didn't believe in it. Not saying I do. But if it was real, can you trust Cotter with it? You ask me. There's just something off about him. Aside from him being an oily thief, I mean. Like he's holding something back. Can't put my finger on him. Cotter's not a bad sort. I trust him. Even after he tried stealing your map? So you'd rather be friends with a thief than someone who might save your life out there? You're an asshole. Come crawling to me when the wildlings attack. I won't. Finn, get back on watch until your relief arrives. They're late. You think Mance Raider is going to wait for them? Right. Asshole. And Tuttle, you've got torches that have gone out. Keep them lit. Let the wildlings know we're still home. All right, so I gotta light me some torches. I don't know, I don't trust Finn. He might be a good warrior. The prompts always hint at that. Yeah, this one's still good. But I don't trust Finn, because he's a piece of shit. Don't really trust Cotter all that much, you. I need to light this torch. Gotta trust myself. We're gonna use Cotter as a guide to get to the North Grove, and if he tries anything, well, that sucker will get his. Uncle Duncan brought these from Ironrath. Wonder if I'll ever see it again. That's Ironwood for sure. Alright, let's see what these spears are looking like. If anyone tries coming over the wall, well, those will stop them. Spear right to the dang line. Stop them right in their tracks. Let's see if we got some torches over this way. Got a couple. We got a couple. Solid ice. This won't be melting anytime soon. The fuck was that? Looks like somebody's coming up that lift. Let's get these torches lit before we look at that. Looks like all the torches are lit. Let's see what's going on over here with this lift. This must hold up the lift. Probably fall apart if it wasn't frozen together. mile walk and you're still in my way oh boy here we go. I figured we'd settle things on the way to Crastus but this is even better Jon Snow can't hold your hand now oh fuck you Brit still have some fighting spirit left in you huh you goddamn right I did duty to my lord back on that bloody farm if we're doing a proper job of it what I get banished to the fucking wall Never did tell you about your father, did I? Oh, you gonna push your life. We bled him at first. Like a pig. Seemed only fair he should feel what it's like. Near the end, he could barely breathe. Kept begging us to leave your sister alone. So I made sure he was still alive when she started screaming. It was the last thing your father ever heard. The more we sliced, the worse it got. Shrieking the whole time. Her crying out. Garrod! Garrod! You fucking shit! Die, bitch! Temper, temper. Tried to get his bitch ass. You gonna get Too yours. Too bad your father didn't fight like that. Might still be alive. And I thought you were going to make this easy. Finally getting the hang of it, Tuttle. You're going to die for what you did! Jon Snow can't hold your hand now. Jon Snow's gonna have to dig your grave, bitch. Let's see if you scream like. You gonna fucking get yours? Oh, you're gonna die! Take headbutt, bitch! Oh yeah. You got lucky, what big now, punk. You going to slaughter me? 
like my man back at your farm. At least let me have my sword. You Keep it interesting. Back. Or are you afraid? Fuck you. You never gave my father any mercy. <sighs> Shit, Garrett. Uh, what the fuck? Uh, How'd you get juked up and still fighting? Uh, that shit out of my face, punk. I don't think you want that, bitch. Damn! Get your bitch ass off me. Aw, oh, damn. Aw, oh, damn. Get your sword back, Tuttle. You gotta move, Garrett. Damn! Diced his ass up. Fuck your sword, bitch. That shit on my face. Told your ass you was gonna get yours. You ain't dead yet? Fucking finish it. You ain't gotta tell me. Go on. In this. I do want to kick him off, but I do want to make him That's suffer. That's not a mercy you deserve. Get his ass! Fuck off the wall, bitch! Told his ass that he was gonna get his. Saw that, huh? You want some? Cause you see the mood I'm in. Finn! He gonna fucking run. You gonna go run and tell, huh? That's alright. That's alright. These people are all scared, my lord. The White Hills have driven them away from the Ironwood Forests. Out of the way! Fucking piece of shit. And now they come here, starving, looking for food. Food we don't have to spare. How can we support an army and reclaim our place in the north if we can't even feed a handful of peasants? Our backs are at the wall again, and this won't get better on its own. These are hard times, to be sure. Harder than I've ever seen. But I'll do whatever it takes to get us through it. We'd better hope we figure something out. With those white hill bastards in our house, we must be wary. Come on, you! Let me go! You can't do this! You just asking to die. Uh, You're here. Uh, Look. Look at this! Uh, did you see what this girl did? She attacked my man like an animal. Bloody bit me. Yeah, now it's her turn. She's gonna get what she has coming to her. This won't go unpunished. Let go of me. I don't care if she's your sister. He deserved it. You'll do no such thing. I won't allow it. That's not for you to decide. You keep your fucking hands off my sister. I saw him stealing from our kitchen, and I told him to stop. He laid his hands on me. So I bit him. Bloody wench. I was only doing what had to be done. I warned you not to mistreat my men. Someone will have to answer for this. Do you hear me? Don't make this ugly. Thieves have to be punished. So your man got what he deserved. He's lucky he didn't get any worse than that. So you've given over your duty to this girl then? Or can you not control your sister? Don't listen to him, Roderick. And if you can't rein her in... Yeah, well, what about the rest of them? It's about time she saw a real lord again and learned proper discipline. They've all been missing that. You can shout and preen all you like, but it's just for show. You do as your father lord wishes. And even he knows that punishing girls was never part of the deal with Ramsay Snow. And how would you know? Eh? It was poor little Ethan who dealt with the Boltons. Oh, this house is rotten. And the problem starts at the top, Roderick. 
Watch your tongue, boy. You yourself had the gall to strike one of my men. I'll whoop his ass two and times that's over. that's the real problem with you foresters. You're too fucking proud. Always have been. It was bad enough when you were above us. And now it's even worse. Because you don't see how far you've fallen. Still high enough to look down at you. Now here's a brave and wise girl. A girl who knows how to speak the truth of things. No. A girl who should know her station. You're gonna fucking die. That's how I like to see you, foresters. Face down in the muck. Right where you belong. I should help my sister. But you knew I was coming. Oh, foolish Roderick. Now I'll have to put you in your place. Oh, fuck. You will learn some fucking humility. Oh, this won't be the last lesson I teach you, foresters! Have you no honor? I'll run you through for that. I'll cut you down like straw men. Take him, Roiland. My bloody pleasure. I'll fucking kill you myself. Get him, Roiland. Fuck. Fuck. No. Make him watch this. I bet this makes you angry, eh? You probably want to get up and hit me. But we know how that would go, don't we? Now, are you going to be a good little forester, learn your lesson, and stay down? Roderick! All those signs point for me to stay down, right? The fuck I look like? The fuck I look like, nigga? Can't stop me? Indomitable spirit. Yield. Fuck you. You bloody snot. <laughs> Why don't you fucking get it? <laughs> get up, Roger. Get up, Roderick. Stay down, my lord. Fuck you. Your brother Ethan didn't know his place either. Ramsey Snow taught him good. Talia here will meet the same end. Unless you're a good little forester, you learn your place and stay down. Some forester is gonna learn their lesson today. You don't have to do that, Lord Griff. Will it be you? Or will it be... her? Don't you dare! You stay down! Stay in the mud like a dog! This is my place! You fool! God damn it! Oh my lord. What? Bloody cripple! Are you fucking deaf? You! You'll never keep the foresters down! Hold there! Or you're next! <coughs> Please, Lord Griff, not the arm! <coughs> if you persist, Lord Roderick may lose it! <sighs> now, stay. Down. Tell me! Will you be a good little forester? My lord, please, just stay do it. Down. Stay down. Don't be a fool. He's had enough. I. I decide when he's had enough. Don't the you defy me! Do I look like to you. I will lose the arm. Come I command you. Let him alone. I... You. You. Should fear me. You are a bitch. I'm in charge here! And I fear nothing. No. I alone rule this house. Don't think this is over, Roderick. You'll see. I will make you suffer for this. Trust in that. It'll be over when you're dead. You trust in that. God damn. Get up, Roger. Get up, brother. My boy. Careful. He's badly injured. Roderick, you didn't let him do it. The fuck I look like? you down. You were brave. But there will be consequences, my son. We both know that. His death will be the consequence.
Do you see that? Standing up to Griff has made him harsh. Bloody More course. severe. Form up. He could have killed you. But what you did, the strength you showed us, you looked like yourself again. I couldn't just stand by and let Griff punish you. Damn the consequences. And I'd do it again. A thousand times. I know you would. And when you're better, things will be different. I asked Ethan not to change who he was. He promised he wouldn't, and look what happened. I now know that was childish of me. I'm ready to change now. I'm willing to do anything to help our family. I mean it, Roderick. I don't care what. I'll do it. That's good. I'm sure a time will come when our house will call upon you to do what's necessary. But that time is not now. And I'm sure the others will do whatever it takes as well. What you did? Provoking Griff? It hasn't taken our house to war just yet. But... No one can know the future. Whatever tomorrow brings, Talia, the foresters will stand tall. I did it. I can't believe it. What are you waiting for? This is a union between me and Tyrion. I don't know if I should burn it yet. We can hide it. I can't. What? After everything, we just... I can't burn it. He may be useful in the future. I hope I didn't fuck that up. The Khaleesi will see you now. So, Asher Forrester, if you presume to speak of my dragons, choose your words carefully. So that's the pretty dragon bitch, huh? What have you done, Garrett? Frostfinger is calling for your head. Tell me Brit's death was an accident. Mira, what are you doing? Mira, just tell me what's going on. What are you hiding from me? We are weak. We have no allies. And Griff will make us pay for your defiance. There's been a raven from Lord Whitehill. He's invited us to High Point. Drogon wouldn't have attacked without reason. By order of the Queen! I... Fuck you and your Queen! Deal with your friend! Nothing ever stays in the past, Asha. Harriet. It's time to go. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you want to see more, hit the like button, share this video out, and if you're not already subscribed, then subscribe to the channel. Then I will see y'all in the next video.